I just had to kill a bug on my ceiling. Hot summer night here in the old northern hemisphere. Guys, I'm Nathaniel Dodson and I run tutvid.com. And today we're going to talk about how to use the pen tool in five short minutes. Now, if you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that little red button. That way you never miss another one of these tutorials in the future. And if you really enjoy the video, please consider picking up a copy of my Photoshop course all about how to retouch images in Photoshop. There'll be a link that appears somewhere right up around there or there's just a link right down there in the bio. This channel is, of course, funded by viewers like you. Thank you. Let's jump in and check this tutorial out. Uh, we're going to focus today on using the pen tool, which is located right over here, the pen tool. We're going to use the pen tool to create selections. Now you can use the pen tool to create a selection uh, from a path or create a shape. We're not gonna get into all the different shape features and things like that. That'll take a really long time. Uh, we're gonna focus instead on getting uh, the basics of the pen tool down, and that's gonna begin with creating a path. Up here in the top control bar, we have this little drop down menu. We're gonna choose to draw a path, and then I'll show you how to convert the path to a selection so we can just grab this pink cupcake, duplicate it, drop it over the green cupcake. All right, so we're creating a path uh, and a couple things that I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna turn on auto add slash delete and also I'm gonna select this little gear icon and make sure rubber band is ticked on. With that, we're going to zoom in on the cupcake. So I'm gonna command or control plus, hold down my space bar and navigate over here. And what I wanna do is begin by working with kind of the longer straighter edges, uh, you know, relatively speaking, there is a curve down here of this this cupcake. And the way the pen tool works is you click once and it places an anchor point and you can see we have this path coming out of the anchor point. By the way, we can see this path because we turned that rubber band feature on. So we're going to drag down to about here and you can see how right up here around the middle part of the cupcake uh, wrapper, uh, it's not really like it's, it's concave. So we need to click, but click and hold and drag and you're going to get a little bit of a curve in your path. Now the curve follows the edge of the cupcake beautifully. Now, not only did we get what's called a tangent handle right here, this tangent handle coming out of this anchor point, pulling back toward the top of the cu cupcake wrapper, that's what's giving us that uh, little curve. But there's also a tangent handle down here. Uh, and now this is what's giving us this long curve this way. Now, if this curve is not right, all you need to do is hold down the alter option key, hover over that uh, tangent handle, and you can click it and adjust it any which way you like. I'm going to shorten it up a little bit. And then we're going to click down here and then click and drag until we get a a nice little curved uh, path and if I still don't like that you can see how the path really does not ride along the edge of the cupcake so I can hold down my alter option key once more click that tangent handle and just nudge it over or slide it over until it looks like the path runs where it needs to now I'm gonna click again probably all the way over here and I'm gonna click and drag and pull out a path just like that. That's great. Hold down my space bar. I'm going to nudge over a little bit. And now you can see this tangent handle, is just, it's just way too long. So hold down the Alter Option key again. We're going to click and pull that back. And now when we place our anchor point or our anchor point right up here, before you let go, you can hold down the space bar and just position that anchor exactly where it needs to go. So that's a, that's a really great time-saving trick. And we can just loop right along the rest of this, uh, the rest of the edge of this cupcake just kind of clicking and dragging along as we go and just anytime you get to an area that needs a little bit of a curve click and drag and if you need to get rid of a tangent handle or adjust a tangent handle you can just hold down your alter option key and either pull it way back into the anchor point or usually you want some kind of uh, some kind of curve to, to just follow the natural flow of what's happening and you can do that now here if I zoom in a lot uh, what we've got going on here is we really need to have a kind of a sharp corner so what I'm gonna do is hold down my alter option key and change the direction of this tangent handle and pull it way up this way. That's gonna allow me to get a nice sharp corner in there where I need it. And there I just clicked, I didn't even drag because I'm just gonna place that one point. Then I'm gonna click up here and drag a nice little curve into it, hold down the Alter Option key and I can just straight click on an anchor point and it's gonna suck the tangent handle back in and I can just pull right around this curve and you can see I get a nice curve here, but I have a perfectly sharp corner right in there because I sucked that tangent handle right back in. We'll do the same thing here. Alter op hold down Alter Option, click on that anchor point, and then click and drag a point out just like that. And I would hold down Alter Option, click and drag, and I'm going to do the whole thing here and just go all the way around the icing on this cupcake. And I'm going to speed the video up here as I finish off the, uh, the top side of this cupcake. 
Now, really quickly, I should point out, if you have a, a, an anchor point that's been placed and you decide after you place it, hey, I need to pull a, a tangent handle out of here because let's say I want to make this curve, hold down your alter option key and simply pull a tangent handle out of that point. And in the case of this curve, I want to pull my tangent handle kind of up past the, it's almost the apex of the curve, just like that. And you can see how almost already we have a perfect curve. And all I need to do is click and drag up here and just really round the curve out just kind of nice and perfectly. And then I can pull and keep pulling along the edge of my cupcake just like so. Now here we're coming down the home stretch. We're getting ready to connect or complete our path by joining the anchor points. I'm just going to hold on my alter option key here because we're changing direction once more. And by the way, as I just click and place anchor points, you may be wondering, how do you know to place an anchor point here or there? Or how do you know where I'm putting any of these points? It just, the more you use the pen tool, the more you realize, okay, I can bend this curve around this or through that or however it's going to work. I'm going to hold down my alter option key and just click just because I'm going to join my, my uh, path together. And and I can click and hold and just pull that last curve into place. Now, I do want to give you a quick trick. Well, number one, over here in our paths panel, our path is right there, our work path. We can double click and we can name this cake or cupcake or whatever we want. And there we go. We have saved that path. I can deselect the path. You can see it disappears. No harm, no foul. Now, if, you, if you're beginning a path, you can always click and drag out tangent handles and you're going to have a curve right off the bat, right? And let's say we're dragging around an object and then we want to join the path off at the end. Well, See how as soon as I go to join the path, it gives me that funky curve? That's because we dragged those tangent handles out to begin this first anchor point. And remember, a tangent handle comes out of this side, but one also comes out of the back side. So that is that tangent handle affecting your path as you close it off. In order to combat that, all you need to do is hold down the Alter Option key, and you can join your path, and you'll get a nice smooth join right back together. Uh, so that's just a, just a little side trick that you'll need to know as you're working uh, with the pen tool and constructing paths in Photoshop. Now, how do we convert that path to a selection? Well, you can simply select that uh, that path in the paths panel and come down to the bottom of the paths panel and hit this little icon right here. And boom, you convert that selection to, or that path, excuse me, to a selection. You can see it's loaded as a selection. I'm just gonna undo that. And with the path selected, you can also use the hotkey command return. That's control enter on the PC. And that's going to convert it to a selection. We can go back to our layers panel, hold down or hit the hotkey command or control J. We've popped the cupcake up onto its own layer and we can just move it over and cover up the green cupcake. Obviously it's not perfect, but we're not gonna talk about creating the photorealistic shadow and all that jazz uh, here in this tutorial. But the point is you can use the pen tool to create very complex selections, um, especially of objects like this that have somewhat smooth edges and get really, really great results. Now the last thing I wanna show you before we head out is what if we wanna edit this? This is really where paths also have a massive advantage over anything else you can select that path we can zoom in on it over here right I'm going to zoom in you can see the path is all there if we want to go ahead and edit this let me zoom out just a couple clicks we can use the direct selection tool and that's located underneath this lower black arrow this is the path selection tool but if you hit the direct selection tool you can select your path and you can just select any single anchor point or stretch of path you want and you can grab the tangent handles Oh, let me try that again. You can grab the tangent handles and you can move them around any which way. If you hold down the alter option key, you'll just end up, uh, you move the tangent handle just on one side of an anchor point. So again, something you want to play around with, mess around with and get used to and acquainted with because being able to move anchor points and adjust exactly how they curve and bend, you're able to create a rough path and go back and tweak and fine tune it with this direct selection tool. It's really, really a great way to create selections like I said, especially if it is a somewhat smooth edged object that you're working with or something where you know, hey, I'm probably going to have to go back in and tweak and edit the selection later on. So guys, that's the pen tool in about five minutes. I think we cleared it in about five minutes, right? Uh, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure, again, you subscribe to the channel. You hit that little red button and uh, link up so you never miss another Photoshop or uh really any tutorial that comes out on this channel in the future for learning how to use the pen tool in a mere five minutes, maybe about six minutes. I don't know. Five minutes, we'll say. We'll commit to five minutes right here and right now. Guys, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do. And this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel.
See you next time, guys. <laughs>